Good day and welcome to your favorite sport program on TV Plus Sport. Share love, we have to first of all apologize for coming um, a bit behind schedule. It's true to some technical issues that we need to get across to someone in Paris because it's all about time uh, Paris 2024 Olympics. Yeah, it's the, um, the opening ceremony is passed. So many issues coming out from, um, from the Olympic, from um, Fever of Philly, AFL, and NLC Saga. And not forgetting Cynthia Ogum Shemilowe. And also, uh, we also have a clip of the first gold medal at, um, at Paris 2024. Joining me to talk about this is no other man that um, one of the few Nigerian journalists that um, can speak several languages, is an African sports consultant. He has so many you know, topics and so many things to his name. I'm talking about um, Dr. Martin Morgan. Thank you very much, um, Dr. Martin Morgan, for being part of today's show. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Buddha, once again. Uh, it's a national commitment, so we have to just do the best we could at this moment. And uh, we are looking at what is trans transpiring in Paris, where we hope that there's going to be a lot of expectation, despite the situation how gloomy it is. So, so let, let, let's start with um, the issues that is trending in the world of sport. From can, can, you, can you read me? That's talking about um, Fever of Philly, that... Um, her name is not on the list of the runners for the 100 meters. She uh, made the record. Um, she qualified for the Paris and the 100 meters uh, um, in in Bini. Uh, and also, we know that um, according to the list that's brought up by World Athletics, her name is not on the 100 meters and has been issued with um, the AFN and the NOC. Though there have been statement from Samuel Onikeku, who is the technical director of the Athletic Federation of Nigeria. Um, Samuel said that, um, and he also brought out the list, which you sent to me, um, and it was signed by him that um, Favors Ophelia's name was on that list. And we saw that list, I'm sure during the discussion we'll show you the list, and it was signed by Samuel Onikeku. But the NOC has said nothing yet on this particular issue. But the sport minister um, has right, come out to, to yeah. tell us that um, he's not going to take this lightly. Uh, what, what can you say about this? Um, a, a book journal mistake, I need to tell you that. Yes, uh, Tike Muda for me uh, is one of those uh, lapses that should never, never be tolerated. Because uh, if you remember the, the list I shared with you by the sent by me from the AFN when the matter broke up, she was registered on, she's on the number 11 column. Register for 100, 200, and a 4 by 100. Then uh, it is becoming very appalling and very uh, disgraceful for us to say that somebody somewhere did not do his job. Then at the end of the day, the young lady now is being just woke up, just woke up in the morning and say you are not part of it. So what, what, what I want us to find out is that where are the letters? Where are the letter written to her for that suspension that you are not going to partake in that race? These are some of those things we need to really get if you want to really understand to, uh, the integrity. And it is also for us to now hold whosoever is responsible. By now, I, I, I think that we should be hearing some sanctions coming up because of some of these are uh, in fighting in AFN, which have not been able to resolve. It's, uh, it's an error that is denying us a medal, a podium finish. And I don't think we should take it lightly. If they have their own infighting, they shouldn't uh, jeopardize the interests of the country for their own personal selfish. The AFN needs to be reorganized. And I think uh, we need to also give us and show us letters that shows that this young lady, Ophili Favor, was not included in that race. Whereas if the master is sent, by the technical director, she was number 11, registered for 100, 200, and relay, uh, 4 by 100. So how come now, at the last minute, her name got disappeared and she's not eligible to run? Those are some of these challenges. So the minister should not take it lightly, like uh, my own child. I just said that the leadership struggle in that AFN has to be nipped on the board. And we have to also understand that who's in, who is responsible why is it that it's always a feeling that is always coming on the news? We saw we when in Douala, she was also on the news. 
for the last time in the last Olympics, she was on the news. It shouldn't be the same thing. So if they have any personal grudges or internal thing with her, they should be able to make it clear, but not for the to, uh, to the detriment of the interests of the country. And for me, I don't think they should be taking time, and uh, it should not be something that we, we, we should just look at it to go low like that. So well said. Um, let, let's not also forget that um, this is supposed to be our first, um, our second Olympics. You remember what happened in, in Tokyo? Um, in Tokyo, yes. so also denied. Tokyo, I remember. Mm. What, 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 psychologically, what do you think is going on with Ophili right now? She she was denied the same thing. Yes, she was denied the same thing. And some of these administrative lapses also from her own side. I, I think by now, if I'm in that position. Some of these AFM, despite whatever they say by protocol, they should be serving some suspensions now. We don't need to take it lightly. If they have internal scoreboard within them, so they should be able to go and say, you know, not to jeopardize the country. We spend the country's sponsor, where I say we, because it's also your money. More than 12 billion naira was used to organize for this Olympic, prepare for it. Then why come at the last minute somebody loves this, maybe personality ago? or uh, just to show that he, he or she is in charge, coming on to not jeopardize the whole effort. It's not good. If her name was not on the master list signed on the 5th uh, July that was submitted, that would have been another case. Now, if uh, you just wake up and tell her, no, you cannot compete, where are the letters? They should give us the letters now. They should bring something proof to prove that, yes, these are the reasons, and what are the reasons? They should be able to explain. If there's something that happened, they should tell you that these are the reasons why you are not going to participate for A, B, C, D. They will now find and say what happened with the A, B, C, D before having on the master list to, to participate that was signed by the technical director of the AFM. So this is where education lies. It's, 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 uh, it's sad because that will have been an advantage for us to have a medal. Because the Jamaican, I can't remember her name, but she's not also participating, but that should have been, she have been one of the highest uh, favorite. Look at the performance of Team Nigeria, a very dismal uh, performance that has not been very encouraging. Where well, some of us were raising high, where the tennis that we even have hope. Quadri, uh, Aruna Quadri was just eliminated on the first round, including the other guys. So it's not helping us. Still, favor Philly, or favor of Philly um, case is a worrisome case. We are talking about favor of Philly for those of us joining us, and it has to do with the. Um, case mm. of um, of our not um, and she tweeted on tuesday night and i'm sure that um, she tweeted about the very fact that yeah um, she, she took she took to her own uh, do you believe uh, what samuel Onikeku uh, has said about the fact that she was listed and names of the hundred meters what, 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 what do you want to say about that well they are not responded so that is why we should not take it low so I think uh, the minister and other officials should be able to explain. We need letters, we need proof to show that these are the reasons why she she's not. We, we don't, not only by the, uh, just telling her that she's not eligible. No, we need proof. What are the reasons? Register and she qualified to do 100. So she's qualified to do that. What? Some, some um, Dr. Martin Morgan, if you are hearing me clearly, uh, that some report that said if it was in a senior um, climb country that. Um, the minister and some of them um, should have been sacked. Do you think that's the solution for issues like this? I'm sure um, Dr. Martin Morgan is trying to get a clearer um, position in regards to network um, issues. So if you're just joining us for the first time on this particular topic, we've been looking at um, one of the issues that have put a dent on the image of the country in um, the ongoing 2024 Olympic, and we'll be talking about Favor Ophili. And Favor Ophili, according to the Athletic Federation, I'm sure you can see the picture of um, Favor Ophili for those that know, don't know who she is. Um, we're talking about, um, she tweeted and um, she rem made us remember also what happened in Tokyo 2020 uh, when NGR 14 athletes um, were, 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 that qualified could not compete because of um, so the negligence of um, the Athletic Federation. If that was passed, that was supposed to be our first Olympic, but she did not participate because of the negligence of the Athletic Federation of um, Nigeria. I think we have um, Dr. Martin Morgan. Hello, sir. There's no law missing with 
By now, those officials are supposed to be heading back home to, uh, to Abuja or to Lagos. They are always amazing way. I think you just have to be assertive when you are taking certain decisions. Some group of people interest should not be used to jeopardize our corporate interests or the whole country. I feel that like it will be an element of sabotage. Honestly. What, what, it's so disheartening. As an experienced sport administrator... So that is the situation. That is the way I feel it. As an experienced um, sport administrator, what do you think happened? I mean, that cannot be a deli um, that cannot be an omission in writing. That cannot be a, an omission because of a certain thing. I know it was there, but I know it wasn't in the hundred meters race. What do you think happened? For me, it's not an omission. It's a deliberate action. It's not an omission. For me, I think I can quote me. It's not an omission because I felt that. Uh, there's something that they will have some inner fighting that is not going well. Maybe somebody, someone just want to punish this young lady. And I feel that at this moment, some of this sanction and discipline should be installed into that uh, AFN and the rest. So for me, I, I think even from Paris, you need to send some people home. Some of these officials, they need to get back home because they are not useful. Because they are putting us in more of their job party. I don't think a we don't need to treat it with a uh, kiss uh, glove. It's not something that we should just look and start laughing over it. No, no, no. It's not an omission. They intentionally caused some of this wala for this game because she was qualified. Then what happened? So they should come and give us the list and give us the letters of what happened. I need the letter of the suspension. Have you seen anyone? No. We've not seen any letters seen from any anywhere. But what do you think the sport minister yeah, should do? I any letters. Dr. Marty Morgan, what do you think this... No, well, for me, I think... For me, the sport minister has no other option than to send people back home. Those officials officer, are uh, responsible. You don't need to do the investigation from there. They should just start getting to say total negligence. If, let me use the word negligence. Total negligence, there are no two ways about that. I'm only using the negligence mildly, but it's sabotage. It's sabotage. If I want to go to the extreme, it's sabotage. They need to really take this matter up. So by now, some of the officials should be heading back to Abuja or to Lagos. They should have to go home and come and face a disciplinary action. Because today, uh, Ophelia, four years she prepared for that. The last time is the same thing. We are getting to that situation. There, her name was there. Don't be level on the master list. Don't be level. She was registered for three main events, 100 meters. 200 meters and four by 100. How come that she's not eligible to run and they say her name is not there? Well, how come? Where is the letter? Is it the... Is he, no, no, no. But I, you don't take it lightly. It's a, an act of negligence and infighting. Somebody should be able to tell us the truth. I remember the last time when uh, one of our senior colleagues was here on, on your pro, uh, one, of the, one of the programs I had. He said the AFM because of the infighting, most of the people are there for their personal interest. They are not there for the interest of the country. See what happened to that young girl, Ophelia. So it's not acceptable. It's highly condemnable. The, the AFN and the NAC, you know I'm, I'm sure we have pictures of the, um, the AFN and the many pictures of the AFN for those that want to know who the president of um, the AFN is. And, and um, we all know that um, is the man... Is a younger brother to the former governor of um, Delta State. Um, no, that's the that's the president of the um, Nigerian Olympic Committee, who has used yet to say anything officially as a result of yes. that. We also have that um, that's um, uh, Abu, Abu All Abu these Gubel. old men should retire. They don't have any explanation to tell us. They have overstayed. They are, they are making some of this practical error. They should not leave it. But <laughs> yes, we also have, we also know that. Um, but do you believe? And I'm going to repeat my question on that. Do you believe what um, Samuel Nikeku said? Because it's very easy. Because it can be now. It's look as if it's, it's, uh, it can be a conspiracy between AFN and um, NOC. Or do you think um, AFN actually did the right thing by showing us a side letter that um, favor Philly's name? was um written we also have the picture of um Simon Ikeku, who is the technical director of um of nigerian athletic and federation so to, to tell us do you think it's a conspiracy 
Or what, what, what can you do? Because Nigerians are worried about this. And for me, I, I, like I keep on saying, they, they, they transfer the infighting they have and make somebody escape good. That's the way I look at it. For me, that is just, there are no two ways about that. You can't tell me it's a negligence or it's an error or whatever. An error from where? Whereas the master list that they have, where they have all the athletes competing, her name was going to be level. Register for three um, three major events. How come now the evil is saying we cannot compete? Was the list changed again thereafter? That's the question we need to find out. And who changed the list? And who submitted? Who uploaded it? Who up uploaded it? If you want to even remove event, look at it. it was well written. Or was it tipped? I don't understand. It's, it's a tot they should go back and we should find it internally. We should not allow it to lie low. Like I keep on saying, some of those officials should start coming back home. Yes, give them an executive order if you ask where they start coming back home. It's a total negligence. It's not acceptable, my brother. Hmm. Uh, but what do you think? It's a is sabotage. A, yeah, what do you think? It's a sabotage. It's a sabotage. But what do you think the person intends to gain in the interest of the country really if it mean. was um, a sabotage? As a, what do you think the person intends to gain in a, in a situation like this? Hello. Yeah, we can hear you, and we're seeing you clearly. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's just a vendetta. It's just a, it's just a vendetta. It's just a vendetta. I feel so. You can't tell me it's a negligence because the name is in the middle, and the event is there uh, registered on that list that was circulated. You cannot tell me that what happened. If there was any official statement, they should have been back up with letters. This is the reason why I athlete ABC cannot compete in this event, one, two, three. It's done, but not for them to just come and tell her in the morning. So she has the right to speak out. There's nothing wrong about that. She spoke out and came to her. That is the only thing she will make, uh, make herself heard in the world. That is it. It's the same thing we are talking about, uh, the way things are run here. People, some of them have overstayed in some of these positions. They have turned themselves to emperors into that situation whereby they felt that they own everything. This is a total negligence. Uh, I don't accept it. And I will not accept that any explanation. Those officials should start coming back home. Hmm. Most of them were involved. But the technical director who serves on the payroll of the team, they should start getting back home. It's not acceptable. Psychologically, how do you think? Um, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you clearly. We can hear you. How do you think the feeling must have been feeling right now, psychologically? I mean, out of three competition, you uh, do you think it will affect her race in the two hundred meters? She is the silver, silver, um, silver medalist in the Commonwealth Games in that hundred meters. She has done so well for herself in the All African Games, and she has the record. She has the sure. games sure. on her side. Psychologically, what do you think is going on in her mind? Do you think she this it is enough to prompt her to switch um a nationality from an Nigeria to another country wanting her? Well, I I don't want to encourage that. But I know that uh, it happened after Australia in the Olympics, about two of our the switcher because of some of these uh, lakadasika approaches. I remember her name, one young lady who lost her fiance during that event in uh, Australia. So he discovered that this is enough reason why some of the reason why some of these uh, Nigerian athletes switch nationalities because of the ill-treatment they suffer in the hands of some of these officials or the federations. This is just how it is. They travel some of their personal issues to do to the athlete, jeopardizing the country. So it's enough for her to take that reason. But we still need to talk with her. People need to advise her and know. We still have a if she can see around the next Olympics. But she has prepared for long. The last Olympics were the same. This was in, in the consecutive role of eight years. She had she had been denied because of one negligence. I don't know if somebody's somewhere is trying to just punish her for one reason or the other. We don't know. But it's enough reason for you to think a nationality switch. They will not encourage that. We will not encourage that so that we will not lose our the best hands we have. Yeah, but remember, um, I've forgotten her name too, that um, she joined Switch Allegiance to, to Spain 
um, some years ago. I think she was um, the African record holder in the 100 meters orders before it was broken by um, Toby Amosa. I think um, in the course yeah. of the discussion, I remember her name. Yeah. Her husband died um, in, in Spain as a result of um, a um, road accident and all that. But though she is somebody yeah, that... That um, was in Australia. I remember her. I, I want to remember her name. I want to remember her name. Yeah, she... She's she, a very young athlete. Yeah, very... She yeah, has... A young, very young little... Gloria Lazio. She's an athlete. So she... Yeah, yeah I think that's Gloria Lazio. Oh. Gloria Lazio has Gloria done so well for the country. You know, things like this can make you... Yes. Um, change... Yeah, Alozi, yeah. Things like this can make you change your mind. Uh, why do you say you don't want to encourage um, uh, favor to change um, nationality? Yeah, no, 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 no. We just need to let her understand that yeah, there's still hope in the country. She still maintain her nationality. But then, it's an individual decision. But we will not encourage her to do that. It's some lesson. Though for any other person at this two level, S. So that is why we are calling that sanctions, severe sanctions. Some of these guys should be retired. They should be retired and they should leave because they are overstayed. It's stale. They don't have new ideas. They don't even, some of them can even manipulate the computer to even do input. So there's high time some of them should start leaving and bring all the new ones into the system. Because I want this error that happened. Is it an error? I don't know how I can define it. This omission is not acceptable. It's not good. It's not helping us. Despite the fact that the sport minister say he has been interacting with that, but no, the issue is that we are we send athletes to go and do podium finish. Some of these officials should start coming back home. They are no more useful. Okay, yeah. Um away from um favor of feeling, let's go to one case also that's been trending. Um that's in boxing, talking about um Cynthia Ogun Um this is another case that say uh, has put a bad image on the country. If only we could see the future. So we are talking about um, Cynthia. That's the next topic of our discussion right now. Cynthia Ogunsho Milere has been sent or failed drug tests. <laughs> As, funny enough, um, on this same st station, uh, on the day of the opening ceremony, I spoke with um, Adua um, the day of the, about um, Cynthia Ogunsho Milere, and he said so, so many things about her and other, the other boxer. Um, Olalore, um, both of them, one failed drug test, the other one was defeated in, um, in, in the game. Tell us, who should we blame now? <laughs> now, now? Because they always have to do with blame games with Nigeria. Or do you, and I'm, from experience, in the course of the, my career, I'm covering sport, the NOC has a way of um, stepping back not supporting any athlete. There's no, okay, let's try and try it. I chose this, my athletes. I chose this, I chose that. Once the um, integrity unit or whoever have found a bad substance in Nigeria, the person automatically is on his or her own. But what can you say on this? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you know what? That's what I'm saying. We leave our athletes in the wild and our sportsmen in the wild. And we don't try them. We only remember them when it's time for events. We start going to tell them, come, come, without knowing that they are history. In between that period, you have left them in the wild. Have you been able to understand what have been the regiment they have been following? What have been the protocols? Are they really in, still in line with the protocols as required? Before including them, we only just go and bring them, come, come, come. Thereafter, we forget about them. Like the case of Cynthia is so disheartening also because... Uh, we felt that she should have been one of the our hopeful in that box. But she, she failed the test. And the test was that prior to that, how was she being selected? Was there no test conducted? And we were meant to understand that everything was okay. That all the athletes we are, we are presenting are all clean. I use the word clean. They are all clean. From the officials, from the collective one, before handing them over to the local organizing committee of the Nigerian NOC. So now, if you are not getting to that point, and honestly, the focus was on most of the Nigerian athletes also because in the past, we have almost seven or six that were also serving ban. So what that was not taking it lightly with us, they were focusing on most of our own uh, representative. So is she, when I mean athletes, it's a collective now I'm using for all the person involved. So if our boxer, Cynthia, was not caught on... Um, um, 
for one of those uh, issues. It tells you that the official tools have not done their work. It boils down to the official defendations. Because if everything was coordinated the way on what they presented, and that means that some of the reports they presented are not really the true fact report. They always present the report of a high service to make things look good. That is not the situation. I, I feel that it's uh, another, another minus for us. It's a very big minus. Now she will have to leave the home. To leave the game village, she has to come back to where she is. But now how do we trace her? Have you been able to look at her? Then how do you rehabilitate her now? That the next thing. How do you rehabilitate her? How do you make her to see her confidence in herself? These are the issues that is now left. You just abandoned her because she went off in the quest of trying to make herself strong to win. So the country she went off, but that was not a good practice in that in that sense. So our official that monitoring is not there. We leave our most of our athletes in the wild. We don't even know how they are surviving, how they are living. Even that within that period, we couldn't even understand how you can take them up again, preparing them for the next event. So this is the problem we have. Our administrators are not helping them most of the time. Our administrators are more of the hard up. Our administrators, are, most of them are there for personal greed, personal interest. They are just there to ensure that they remain in perpetuity and not doing most of the work that is needed. The whole world has changed. Some of these things are all over the world. The checklists are there. It's left for each other. So in every sector, you look at your athlete, your player, your sports person, and start monitoring them and get results. Not that when events are just one month, two months to there, you start going to call where who's everybody. We don't manage effectively our data to see how are we updating. Where are other athletes that we used to know? Boxers and the female boxers also that we used to know. They are no more. We don't know what is happening. We are forgotten them in the wild. So for me, I think uh, we still need, you don't need to throw her away. You still have to rehabilitate her, find out what really went wrong. Even if she's going to serve some sanctions, find out what really went wrong. There must be something that went wrong in most of them. And uh, most of our, uh, our administrator, there's an element of conspiracy also which I believe, I believe that is also in line to why what is affecting us. We, we also know that um, information is that she's a. F can you hear me? Yeah, we can. We can hear you. I'm sure a lot of people are engrossed with um, your your vivid um, explanation on that issue. And we also know mm. that um, she is ranked fourth in that category. Talking about Cynthia Ogun Shemilowe, she has done so well for herself in boxing, and she was um, mm. the international texting agency as announced. Like we all know, she was ranked fourth, and then she's so many. She's took bronze medal in the last um, Commonwealth Games. So many things to, to talk about in her in, in her career. So I, I rather think that um, the NOC and the Ministry of Sport and also the Boxing Federation should f go deeper. In, um, in, 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 in finding out the real cause of um, all this. But though we know that she's not the only person that has been found um, to be a victim of bad substance at the ongoing um, Olympics, um, there's another athlete who has also, um, th that's from Iraq, um, Judo. No, whether she's the only person or not, that is the issue. The issue here is our tracking system. How do we track our athletes? How do we track her? How do you understand what really went wrong with her? This is what I'm talking about. Do we just leave them in the wild? Even our personal trainers and personal manager or whatever, you should be able to give us a framework that this is what happened. There should be an history. The history prior to the Olympics. Where were you? What happened? What was your medication? She said, lady, she will have taken other things that she may not even know ignorantly that it's, a, it's, a, it's part of it. It's affecting part of the water doping uh, element. But has she been brief herself? Have you been able to educate our athlete to really understand that the modern practice, these are some of the checklists we have. Have our administrator been able to do that? It's not to do a lot of jamboree and uh, calling people and calling the press in the gallery and sign up some money. No, no, you should, you should go beyond that. These are some of the things that is done in other countries. You should be able to try. You have an historic, you know where to go. If there's any issue that is not very good, you quickly adjust. No, you don't have to take this period prior to this event or this game. These are some of your restrictions. There's even nutrition also. You should be able to know that this is why I'm not supposed to take this. 
Do you understand know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when all these factors are put in place to understand, so we should be able to now manage this our athlete. Yeah, because our administrators are not very much willing. We only wait for event to happen, competition nearer. So we can just go and carry everybody, buru, 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 fire brigade. It's not the best. This fire brigade approach that is making us to fail in this situation. Other people carry four years to prepare for the next Olympics. And when we carry two months and we make the noise all over the place. Our athletes are fine, they are doing that, they are doing that. But it's not supposed to. You have to go beyond that and stretch. And look at also at our age. Some of these ages our sportsmen are using, are they really their age? And what are the factors that this age is also affecting them? We should be able to understand all these things, please. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, now, before we go to um, round up for the show, what, what's the hope, what, what hope do we have now? The basketballers. You know, as much as we're talking about... Um, not also show good news from the Olympic. We know that the basketball team, the Tigers, uh, they did. Were, were you surprised? I'm sure I mean, those, were you surprised about the victory against Australia, a team that is notable in the world of female basketball across the globe? That win wasn't just an escape, it was a deliberate and a very good win for us. What, what, what can you say about that? Though I think they should be playing right now, um, they should be playing right now, talking about the They're Tigers. But tell us, how do you feel about the Tigers winning? No, the Tiger swing was a booster for us and um, for everybody. I watched the game and uh, I saw that, yes, they were really on point. And uh, I think uh, they prepared. The way they played, if they play the same against France, I don't think uh, France will be able to shine us with. But at the same time, we shouldn't allow that victory to get over our head. It's a stage, it's just a process. It's going on gradually and we should get to that point. Do you think that against France today, do you think that they will have um, a clean sheet? Or do you think, no, not a clean sheet, rather. Do you think that with what we saw against Australia, do you think they can do, that's the first defeat in a long time for the Tiger. Probably said the first defeat in the Olympics. Um, what what yes. can you say? Do you think they can um, win against France today? Well, there's a, there's a possibility of them winning. There's a possibility of them winning. If they maintain the same um, speed and we're able to get the, 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 the rebounds and the three points they are always getting. So they should be able to win. But I am also optimistic that, yes, they have at least shape up our mind against all the losses <laughs> we had, the negative startup we had after all the money spent and the rest. So and the expectation. Any medal uh, uh, prospect the now the as the <laughs> athletics event is starting soon? Um, we've, it, we've not been on the good news. Any matter so far? The table tennis event, nothing at all. Not even a, a, a record. Uh, nothing at all. In bad meeting where we have annual work, but nothing at all. Um, though it's a good one for, for the African champion. Um, also, in, um, yes, it had events in bad meeting, in um, boxing, nothing at all. In um, table tennis, nothing at all. I'm sure the wrestling, we should be awful. The athletics and track event, we should also, the athletics um, event, we should also be awful. The canoeing and the swimming, there's an enjoying swimming and the canoeing. Um, I don't know. Yes. L l let's see. Where do you think, now that the game is here, your expectation, is it still high or the reality has checked in? Well, uh, the, the reality here will have been that I reduce my benchmark. It has been my benchmark because I was very certain about the table tennis that we can get a medal there. I was very, very certain of uh, Aruna doing because uh, considering his uh, history. So, and um, the other games, our bad meeting, you know, I wasn't too sure about the bad meeting, but then being a, a captain in Nigeria and a champion too. I don't feel like it's, it's okay. But I still have my hope in uh, athletics uh, and uh, let's see how we go. I hope they will not burn themselves before the finals and let them get the heat on. And uh, we still have some men. At least we can see. I reduced my benchmark from 10 maybe to 3 or 5 mm -hmm. <laughs> or 4. <laughs> and she come from the athletics. That is why I'm very angry about this Ophelia issue because uh, I, I feel she's a, a potential podium finish for us and uh, that's why I say we should punish some of the. Those guys should start leaving. Some of these officials should start leaving that party and come back to Lagos or Abuja. 
Time will not permit me something. to talk so about okay. Um, okay. the kit controversy um, between the kit of the NOC and the kit of the sport ministry, though the, the sport minister has come mm. out to say something. Mm. That was the plan of the discussion for the program, but you know, it's something that um, I'm sure you want to share your opinion on that. So that, I, think, I think that should have been resolved. I think um, the sport minister said that uh, when it comes to participating in the event, you can wear the sport, the federation's kits. Um, the NOC kits, uh, when it comes to several things said, what was your opinion on that? No, there are traveling kits, there are event kits, and there are realization kits. So for me, the the, the casual kit, I'm putting in good. The casual kit should just be like a supplementary. That is a pick, which was just explained. But when it comes to the event proper, we use the one that is it Puma, yes, that is acceptable. I think this is just a... I know that most of this are for contractual deals, for a global event, maybe you have a contract that every athlete from a particular uh, country should be using your kit, but then we still have the right to have a supplementary kit. No, that's what we are looking at, it's which may not be very glaring. Event. But once it comes to the proper event, we use the kit. So that issue, I think, need not to be overflow. It has been settled. Yeah, but I think you are right. It's need to be overflow. But now, what kit should be used during the competition? Is it the one for, for the sport ministry or the one for the NOC? You say what? No, the competition is for the one for the NOC, the one the 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 the. the uh, the NOC have assigned to the countries to use. I think that is wrong. Well. So for the other category, should be the pick one. And the pick one, you can use it for your training, you can use it for any other thing. So you got the same thing like having a traveling kit. You know, this particular thing, so if you go to some of this event, you have a traveling kit, you have your realization kit, and you have your event kit. So nothing stop that. I know what is going on, it's just a marketing issue that is affecting it because you want to add your brand visibility. Otherwise, there's no... If you start tired of all of them, go on. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, thank you very much, um, Dr. Martin Morgan, for your time. We appreciate you for giving us your time, especially on national issues in the world of sport, especially the ones that concern um, Nigeria. We hope that um, subsequent days at, at the ongoing um, Olympics, we have cause to call you back, perhaps to share something more cheerful, uh, perhaps getting a medal or records broken or African record by Nigerians at the ongoing. We know the athletics event is starting soon. We know the wrestling is also starting soon. We want to say a big thank you for giving us um, your time. Thank you very much, um, Dr. Uh, Martin Morgan. Thank you very much and watch out for this target, Musa. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Yes, watch out. And, and not just to add to what he said, not just um, Toby, we have a Sebume, we have um, a certain Temi Tokwe, I think, in the, in the high jump. We are hoping the best. And it's also to add to this that it's on a very sad note, still sad on the note of Favor Ophili. Um, what, what was more sad about Ophili, apart the fact that her name was omitted from the 100 meters, one of the favorites, Sherika Jackson, a Jamaica, has said that she's not participating in the 100 meters and now she'll be focusing on the 200 meters. What does this mean? It means that if only um, Favor Philly was in the 100 meters, there's a more chance of getting a murder now that one of the hopeful of the 100 meters has withdrawn. So it's a big, big problem, big issue that her name has been omitted from the 100 meters. We hope that um, in our competing in the 100, in the 200 meters and the 4 by 100 meters, we hope that um, the, the silver medalists and many records to our name in Africa and the Commonwealth uh, medals that um, we hope the best in the 200 meters and also in the 4 by 100 meters. Yes, um, before I let you go, as we leave, we let, leave with an interesting highlight of the Paris 2024 Olympics. Um, the first gold medals of the Games was recorded on the um, a day after the opening ceremony when the event game started. Um, it's an interesting moment to see the country that won the first gold medal at the 2024 Olympics. And you also know that um, the first gold medal from that country shows how much of a country, how much expected in that. And it's always going to be the first event of, of, the, um, of the competition. So um, this I'm going to draw to this cutting. Thank you very much for being part of the show. Same time um, tomorrow, 
um, we'll be giving you all what you need to know in the world of sports. So I leave you with this, the first gold medals of the Paris 2024 Olympics. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now.